Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome, folks, to another episode of the History AI Podcast. I'm Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we have a truly intriguing figure to dive into, the man, the myth, the spy, Robert Townsend. Ah, uh, Marco, I see what you did there. But before we get into his secret life as a spy, let's start at the beginning. Absolutely. Robert Townsend was born on November 8, 1753, in Oyster Bay, New York, a place known for its oysters and, well, not much else, at least back then. It was a simpler time, indeed. But Robert's family history wasn't quite as plain as the town. That's right, Chuck. Robert came from a family of loyalists, meaning they supported the British monarchy during the American Revolution. Talk about a family feud. But despite his family's stance, Robert Townsend chose a different path, didn't he? Absolutely, Chuck. He was a man of many talents. Besides being a merchant, he had an affinity for writing and a passion for politics. He was also a devout Quaker. Ah, the Quakers. Known for their simplicity and pacifism. How did his faith impact his life? Well, Chuck, being a Quaker meant he was anti war, and that's a key part of his story. When the American Revolution began, he couldn't take up arms, so he chose another way to serve his country. Intriguing. Tell me more about his career, Marco. Townsend began his career as a merchant in New York City, and it was here that he came into contact with some very influential people. Oh, do tell. Robert had a knack for rubbing shoulders with the right people. He became friends with some prominent patriots like Alexander Hamilton and John Jay, both of whom would play significant roles in American history. So, he wasn't just your average shopkeeper. Not at all. But his most significant role was yet to come, and it was a secret one. Wave goodbye to sugar-loaded boosts and say hello to Strike Force Energy. The energy drink additive revolutionizing how you power up, all without a single calorie or sugar. Just a squeeze, and you're set for action. Ready to make the switch? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com. And for our listeners, spark your savings with an exclusive 20% discount. Just use code UTSALAX24 at checkout. Remember, UTSALAX24. Strike Force Energy, elevate every sip. Welcome back, folks. We're talking about Robert Townsend, the man who wore many hats, including a spy's hat. Let's dive into his secret life, Chuck. Tell me, Marco, how did Robert Townsend become a spy? Well, Chuck, it was a combination of his connections and his skills. He was in a prime position to gather information for the American forces. So, what techniques did he use to spy? Townsend used an elaborate code system for communication. He wrote messages in invisible ink, which could only be revealed with a special reagent. And he was so good at it that his true identity remained a secret for decades. That's some James Bond-level stuff right there. You could say that. But after the war, things got complicated for Robert. Oh, do tell. What happened? Well, the British discovered his spy activities, and he had to go into hiding. He even had to flee to Europe for a while. That sounds like quite the escape. It was, but eventually, he returned to the United States and resumed his merchant career. And, despite the risks, he kept his spying days a secret. That's some true dedication to the cause. Absolutely, Chuck. And his impact didn't end there. What kind of lasting impact did Robert Townsend have? Well, his covert contributions played a crucial role in the American victory during the Revolutionary War. And his friendships with Hamilton and Jay helped shape the young nation's policies. What a legacy. Robert Townsend, the unsung hero. And the humble shopkeeper. A true American original. Well folks, that wraps up our deep dive into the life of Robert Townsend. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the History AI Podcast. And if you did, please like, rate, and share the podcast. Your support means the world to us. That's right. Until next time, history buffs keep learning and keep listening.